On the screen, we can see an empty project in Blickshift Analytics. Everything starts with the import. I go to import from files and then I choose the files which I want to import. We have for every participant one CSV file. We have nine participants in total and they have performed two tasks, task A and task B. I say open. Then the importer system is running. Um, showing me a preview, showing me here information about the node, information about the scenario and about the participant. I go to next. I click again on next. And then I say um, select media files. I select the two media files. I say open. Then I click on next. And everything is now ready for the analysis. On the top, you can see the dashboard window or later the different dashboard windows. On the right side, we can say set some um, pre-settings, like for example here, um, the columns in the CSV files uh, which contain the gaze point X and the gaze point Y coordinates. Here, in case of the time unit, the software was not sure which time unit um, it found in the files. I know um, we have used uh, milliseconds, so I go to this menu and say milliseconds. And that's at the moment everything we have to start um, to, to set as starting parameters. Then in case of a static desktop eye tracking experiment, what I'm usually doing is I visualize um, the scan path visualizations just to get the feeling about the quality of the data, for example, about the, uh, the, the quality of the calibration. I go to the um, data source here at the bottom. I click with the I make a right click and say I visualizations scan paths scan path. Here on the left, we can set now or activate now the data sets, the scenarios. So here we have task A and task B and the participants. Just to get a good overview, I select all of them. So I say right click, check all. I zoom out. So I press the control key on the keyboard and I use my mouse wheel. The alternative is to, um, or the, the second possibility is to go to here and change the zoom level here manually. So control key and mouse, mouse wheel. And so I'm zooming a bit out. So here we can see now the nine participants in a scan path. I can do the same for a heat map. So I go here to the data source AMP analyzing mental processes. I go to visualizations and here I choose heat map. Here I can do the same. So I select all the participants. I zoom out and I can see the heat map. If I want to aggregate now this visualization, so to bring all the nine participants in one visualization, I can click here on the aggregation button. And then the software computes or creates, um, generates a heat map which shows the fixation, the gaze point distribution of all the participants. I can do, of course, the same in the scan path. And that's what we all know when we are visualizing scan paths, um, we see a very cluttered visualization.